whippage. Probably the most satisfying technique in football is when you get that ball to come back like so hard and it just whips into the top corner. A, bit, a little bit like this one. All right, all right. Anyway, today I'm gonna show you how I whip the ball. Um, I've got sort of three different techniques that I'm gonna show you through. And the first one, I call it the kicker. I don't know what it's actually called, but it's sort of that De La Feo, Dimitri Payet type kick. Brilliant. Uh, the first step of the kicker is making sure that your shooting foot kicks outwards after you contact the ball. Uh, this is pretty much the entire reason why the ball curls so much and why also the kick looks so different. Secondly is making sure that you're kicking the ball with the, sort of the inside of your big toe. And this is really important because if you kick it too low on your, on your boot, like a normal kick, you'll kick through the ball and you won't get any height. A bit like this. Uh, the third step sort of goes against everything you've ever been taught as a kid that's getting your head over the ball. Uh, with the kicker, you really want to make sure you're not over the ball. And the final step is making sure that the momentum of your body is away from where the ball's going, just to allow it to get that height that it needs. Okay, now that I've shown you how to do it, I'm going to take 10 or so, and hopefully I get some good ones. Okay, so the next technique I wanted to show you through is, is the Beckham free kick technique. And I don't necessarily do it exactly like David Beckham, but it pretty much just emphasizes the use of your opposite arm. Something worth mentioning with this technique as well is that the further you go back within obviously your range, the more whip you actually get. So like, this is a free kick I scored at the start of 2020. And as you can see, I'm a long way out, but it goes past the keeper comfortably. And I think the main thing is, I haven't hit that ball very hard, but just because I've gotten that technique right and it's really whipped, it just sort of kept moving away from him. The first step to the Beckham technique is really making sure you get that opposite arm doing a full circle as you're running up to the ball. The second step, similar to the kicker, is again, making sure that your head is actually not over the ball. This just allows it to get that curl. The third step, and this is an important one, is really making sure you bring those arms forward and crunching your body together. This is what really gets the power into the kick. When doing this technique, you really want to kick the ball with the bony part of your foot. Um, it's really important not to kick too high up the boot, otherwise you can get the ball just way too much height, and let's be real, no one likes it when a free kick goes over the bar. The final step to this one is, again, similar to the kicker, is making sure you step away from the ball after kicking it, just moving that momentum away. I think some of the main things out of these three, the first two, the kicker and this Beckham technique, have in common is they both rely a lot on leaning back and also stepping away from the ball immediately. Okay, I'm gonna try to take a few free kicks. I'll show you the best ones using this technique. Okay guys, and so the third, third one I'm going to show you is, I guess, what I call the drive-by. And it's mainly based around sort of, you run through the ball and the whip comes from hitting it hard. I think the main things to remember with this is you, you run fast and hard, and this one, unlike the other two, your head has to be really over the ball. First step and sort of the reason for the name is making sure you're really running through the ball at pace. The second step is really making sure your head is over the ball. And this is different to the kicker and the Beckham technique, just because this one you want more power, but you don't want the ball to go high. Again, similar to the Beckham technique, this one you do want to kick with the hard bony part at your foot. The final step and the reason this kick gets so much whip is running through the ball after you've kicked it. This just makes sure all the power is still going through it. Okay, 
well, that's it for the video today. Uh, to sum up, the kicker, I'd say, is more of a fun kick. Not really realistic for a game, but it definitely gets the most curl. Um, the Beckham one, I definitely use as free kicks, and I think it's really good for that. But other than that, the drive-by sort of shot is probably the most I use in a game. It's the most realistic. Um, anyway, that's it for the video. Let me know what you thought. If you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see you later.